Good afternoon and welcome to a fairly wintry afternoon here in Dunedin in the Otago region of beautiful South Island, New Zealand. Today we're heading over to Queenstown. It's going to be about a just shy of a five hour journey by road with intercity. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, this is our bus stop over here. It's once again just outside Countdown. Every single intercity bus stop, so they all seem to be outside Countdown. But anyway, here's our where our bus leaves from for today. So yeah, without further ado, once on the bus, so I'll tell you a little bit more about the route and the intercity service. It's an intercity gold service, by the way, so maybe it's a slightly fancier bus. As I'm at the station with plenty of time to spare, I'll just give you a bit of a route info for today's trip to Queenstown. It's gazetted at 4 hours and 50 minutes with Intercity. Firstly, we head south, dropping off at the Dunedin Airport. Then we visit the major settlements of Alexandra, Cromwell and also Roxburgh. Uh, the trip also has a 20 minute rest break in Lawrence. Anyway, 10-15 minutes later and quite a few people are already huddling at the two bus shelters in the rain. Pity there wasn't a few more um, sheltered spots to sit here. But anyway, there's two intercity buses arriving now. They have both uh, depart Dunedin at around 2.30. Uh, they both originated from Christchurch early in the day. One's heading south to the far south at Invercargill and others heading to Queenstown where we're heading today. So yeah, a lot of people are getting off this uh, service so I'm about to board as it's already uh, come in from Christchurch but it's continuing on to Queenstown. So yeah, basically just um, make sure you check that you're getting on the right bus because uh, you don't want yourself and your luggage to go the wrong direction. Anyway, um, so yeah, on the right hand side here's our bus today. Uh, this is a branded as an intercity gold service, so yeah, we're still sitting out the back today. Seems a little bit um, less spacious than some of the intercity buses I'd been on the North Island, uh, which didn't have the intercity gold seating out front. But yeah, it's still it's still not too bad to be honest. When I rechecked my booking actually last minute, I noticed that the cost of intercity gold which has um, sort of more comfortable leather seats with uh, charging points and you know a bit better recline. It's only uh, charging five dollars extra for that and the website seemed to suggest you could also um, upgrade just for the five dollars as well but it seemed like I would have to cancel the ticket and rebook it and yeah I just didn't want any hiccups at the last minute anything going wrong so I was a bit reluctant to do that but yeah pity I just didn't uh, book the Intercity Gold in the first place nonetheless we're uh, heading out um, out of Dunedin now right on time at 2.30 it's uh, really starting to rain now so it's going to be quite a a wet trip over to Queenstown this afternoon and evening but yeah first impressions even though I'm out the back pity I didn't get into city gold still going to be a fairly comfortable ride today by looks not overly busy so yeah as we leave Dunedin this afternoon you'll see how the magnificent a lot of the buildings are here in Dunedin even though it's currently only the seventh largest city in New Zealand or the second biggest in the South Island it really had its heyday back in the 1800s so it's got a very strong uh, Scottish, uh, Maori and also Chinese influence here it's also a very uh, prestigious university town in New Zealand so it's actually the oldest European uh, uh, city here in New Zealand and it actually used to be the biggest city in New Zealand at some point in the 1800s so it's really had its heyday it's got some really magnificent buildings and yeah it, the city centre really looks quite big for a city of its size so yeah really nice uh, place to need and very steep very hilly it's got a beautiful um, coastline and beaches as well so really enjoyed my a uh, couple days stay here in Dunedin but yeah for now um, we're going to head out um, 
towards Queenstown now. Our driver's really friendly, giving us a really good rundown of how this afternoon's trip should unfold. Um, keeping us up to date with all the things like the features of the bus and also, you know, the, in, the free uh, Wi-Fi, how to access that and also, you know, where we're going to have our rest stop in the little small town in Lawrence in a couple of hours town. So yeah, um, we're first uh, just going to head out to uh, Dunedin Airport possibly to pick up or drop off a few passengers and then yeah we'll um, head further south and then we'll start heading inland up through more mountainous terrain until we get to Queenstown early around 7.30 this evening. So yeah what better time now I'll give a little bit of commentary along the way about the journey but what better time now just to sit back relax and enjoy the lovely albeit slightly rainy and soon to be snowy otago countryside later tonight <laughs>
We're now been on the road around an hour and a half. It's just approaching about four o'clock local time and we're just about to arrive in the lovely historic small settlement of Lawrence. Population only around 435 people, but beautiful little uh, township. Uh, very much uh, had its heyday as well during the Otago Gold Rush era. But yeah, uh, today this is where we're making our quick uh, rest stop for the driver to get their mandatory um, rest period. And here you can also um, just top up, um, get a snack or a coffee or saying along the way, stretch your legs. Pity it's uh, pretty wet and pretty cold by now. It's probably only around seven or eight degrees Celsius. But yeah, lovely little uh, place to stretch our legs uh, for today and um, yeah so we spend about 20 minutes here as you'll find later on you can probably be a little bit uh, surprised um, anyway 420 comes along and yeah we're about to head back on the coach and it's another three hours or so up to Queenstown really um, quite relaxed getting the bus in New Zealand a little bit less um, stress about you know running to an exact timetable drivers seem to be quite flexible as well so really appreciate that laid back uh, style with the bus drivers but anyway but yeah let's uh, head off back on the coach before we get too saturated and yeah right on 420 we're heading back out of Lawrence and we're on our way now so yeah, I'll let you see the beautiful little town as we drive out. And yeah, uh, we'll continue along as we wind our way through the hilly Otago countryside. It's getting pretty wet now, pretty wintry. And yeah, uh, I believe there's no forecast down to about 600 metres later tonight. So yeah, it's going to be quite treacherous uh, driving conditions ahead. But yeah, nonetheless, really hope you just sit back now, relax, and enjoy some of the lovely scenery until we get to our next towns of Roxburgh, Cromwell, and Alexandra.
about an hour's drive or 60 kilometers up the road, we make our way into the small town of Roxburgh. Only got around 600 people, but it's another lovely sort of gold rush era town here in Otago. Very nice indeed. Going back to what I was saying, you'd be surprised about you can't miss the, the bus. Uh, somehow that's exactly what happened. One of the passengers um, somehow didn't get on the bus at uh, back in Lawrence and I don't know, somehow despite the driver doing a head count still seemed to not pick it up. Anyway, so yeah, there's a slight delay here as we wait for that other passenger to rejoin the service. I think they must have just got a taxi between the two towns or something. Anyway, a few minutes uh, delay, we're now heading out of Roxburgh and on our way to Alexandra. As the final light is starting to fade on our journey over to Queenstown today, it's been really, really beautiful scenery. 
Wikipedia has been quite wet and quite misty, cloudy, etc, etc. But yeah, I can really imagine this would be a really, really beautiful drive to do, especially in the warmer months or indeed on a clear winter's day. But nonetheless, it's definitely been a cosy drive. The bus has been really warm, it hasn't been cold, but it hasn't been too hot either. So the bus driver's done a good job to make the coach a temperature comfortable at all times. And yeah, now we're heading into the small town of Alexandra, a population just over 5,000 people, where a number of people uh, get off the coach at this particular town. And then yeah, just after that, uh, our next stop is the small, similar sized uh, town of Cromwell, which is about 33 kilometers up the road. So yeah, as it's, it's pretty well dark now, it's and we're just about to approach uh, the outskirts of Queenstown, what better time now to uh, conclude this uh, bus review with Intercity right here, right now. So today's journey started in the city of Dunedin, which is located in the Otago region of the South Island of New Zealand. We headed over to the lovely resort town of Queenstown, which really needs no introduction for those familiar with New Zealand. Anyway, it's about a 280 kilometre journey today, and we completed the journey with by bus with Intercity, which is New Zealand's uh, main uh, intercity bus transportation company. The fare for today's ride cost $46. Seemed to be a little bit more expensive than comparable link rides on the North Island, but I guess that just comes down to competition and supply and demand and that sort of stuff. Pretty comfortable journey today. The seats did seem a little bit more narrow and less room than some of the intercity buses on the North Island, but that could be because they also have intercity gold seating, which is a larger uh, lever seat, which comes with uh, charging points, and you can also, yeah, recline those seats. And yeah, in retrospect, I probably should have upgraded to intercity gold, because they're offering an uh, upgrade at only $5. Nonetheless, uh, today's journey got me to Queenstown on time around 7.30 p.m. Wasn't the quickest way to travel, but um, the condition and the nature of the roads of New Zealand, that's quite to be expected. The uh, driver was friendly, really appreciate the informative and laid back nature of the driver, so it was really good. And yeah, the coach was in a reasonably good uh, condition, although it did show some signs of age as well. Free Wi-Fi is also provided on the coach, although it does uh, rely on kind of the usual mobile phone sort of uh, network to provide it, so it was generally fine for general browsing. Um, occasionally it worked for streaming YouTube videos and that sort of stuff as well but being in quite rural areas in New Zealand, it is prone to going in and out of coverage as well. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, I was certainly pleased to be able to not use my limited roaming mobile data. So that was much appreciated. <music>
today's service, we can city between Dunedin and Queenstown. Really can't complain for what it is. A bus service. Not going to be obviously the quickest way to get between the two, but it's a perfectly serviceable way nonetheless. Really can't complain. The price I paid for it was pretty reasonable and the bus was pretty comfortable overall. And yeah, it's a really nice drive as well. So if you consider the, you know, the scenery and you know, the lovely countryside to be a part of the journey, I think you're really going to enjoy this bus ride, even though it is quite lengthy. So yeah, no real complaints for today's journey. I really give them a solid eight out of 10. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's uh, intercity bus uh, review, as we've gone over to Queenstown, really appreciate if you give it a like and also subscribe to the channel so you won't miss further flight reviews, bus reviews, ferry reviews, even got train reviews coming up. So plenty of that good stuff and also plenty of destination content from New Zealand and abroad as well. But yeah, in the meantime, you can visit my website, aussiejetsetter.com.au for the latest flight reviews, industry news, destination guides, frequent flyer hacks, and more. Also put a link to the socials in the description below as well, so please feel free to check that out. But until next time, thank you very much for watching today's review, and until next time, safe travels wherever that might take you.